Hello everybody and welcome once again to All of Fabric 3. So today, today is Nether Day. Uh, first thing we're going to do is upgrade the backpack. So let's get started. So we have the stone backpack. Jetpack. <laughs> I keep getting things a bit mixed up. Jetpack. We've got the stone jetpack. So let's have a look at the uses of this one. There's three different ones we can make from here. So the basic one is bronze. And if you look, actually press shift on this, it tells you. So the fuel use is 120E per tick. Then it tells you the vertical speed and acceleration and so on and so forth. And then you come down here and you'll see that this is the next one up. This is the iron one. So this is slight, the vertical speed on this one is slightly faster. And then we look down here at the silver jetpack. So this one's got 150 EU per tick. So it does use a, a considerable more fuel, but the, but the vertical speed and acceleration is just a faster one. So I'm going to build this today. Um, yes. So, we, so we've got everything prepared, I hope. So what we need here is we need another 11 of these basic cells. And then from that, we need, let's take half of those and put those into here, and that will give us the silver batteries. It's the only difference between this and the previous ones. Is this, this, the all ingots in here. We need five batteries. And uh, three of those, we'll take half that, and then we'll just drag it down here. Gives us a silver capacitor. And then the last one over here is the, uh, the thrusters. So we need two of these, two of these, like that, I should give us two silver thrusters. And then we have to just make the backpack up. I think I might be missing some silver ingots. So let's have a look at uses of this. Yes, we just need four more silver ingots. I did check, I did check, make sure I've got enough. There's actually, I've got another silver dust here and I've got two and a half stacks of silver, or which is basically five stacks of silver ingots. So we've got plenty. So now we should be able to make this up. Let's look for the recipe. Oh, actually, we need. Yeah, let's just use the uses of this one. And shift click it everything into position. It won't put the jet pack in, but I'm wondering if we lose all the charge. No, we don't quite lose all the charge. Just about, but not quite. So this was now 8% charge. So we can put that in here and get it charged up. This is obviously going to take a while. I should really look at doing a better battery box. But we'll do that another time. There's no need to do anything. Over here, I didn't show you this. This is a way, this is a waste Now the recipe for these waste stones, let's have a look. Um, it's actually really easy. In fact, you actually saw we do one last, I got two ender pearls last time from one man. So it's just basically eight stone bricks, which is just eight stone around one ender eye. Gives you a waste stone. This one here is a empty scroll. Which is four pieces of paper and four sticks. We'll do that actually, and we shall take. Uh, I've actually already got one made, so we need f five pieces of paper, wasn't it? Like that, and we need some sticks. I think it was five and four. And, uh, to be dead honest with you, I'm not 100% sure that we need some sticks. I've got ten. Here we are. Got ten log plank planks, just take one of those, put two down like that. I should have enough now to make this. Yeah, good. I got it right around. And then when you click on a waystone with this, it will tell you you can teleport to that waystone. We need a little bit of XP, but I'm sure we're going to get that when we go to the nether. Here I've got my back a backpack paired with stuff that I need for the nether. So I'm going to put this into here like this. And in my normal backpack. I already have a waystone and this I've got a waystone scroll here and this one is actually marked for to get back home in other words that one so we'll take those with us we're also going to take two and a half stacks of lignite coal and 18 dark oak logs now that will allow us to fill up this with, with um, torches so we should get nine stacks of torches out of that I've got some extra torches here and some redstone because we're going to go and set up a miner um, Maybe we won't do that. I'm not sure if we're going to do that this episode or next episode. So we'll just pick up these two. This one's empty just for, just to give us some space if we need to go through it. What we need. Um, 
So now all I'm waiting for is this. I do need to make a flint and steel. I'll make a flint and steel. Let's do that quickly. In fact, they're already prepared in here, aren't they? One of those plus one ingot of iron. I mean, there is an ingot of iron here. I just brought along a little bit of iron just in case. I think this is shapeless crafting. Indeed it is. So we'll put that in here. Obsidian. Actually, I'm going to take some obsidian with me. I don't need to do it. Let's take 16 obsidian with us, because you'll see why. I'm actually one or two bits. But I think I've already, I think to be honest with you, I've already done it. Let's have a look at the map. Here. I labelled this as portal. This is actually another portal. It's not too far away. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to wait for this backpack uh, to charge up, and then I'll see, see you as we go off towards this portal. Well, I'm still waiting for this to charge up. It's taking a rather long time. The actual next battery charger is the MSC, I think it's the MSC or ME Technical Board. M blah, 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 blah. Rolling machine, it's. I should probably make some of these generators as well. Water moving made, windmill, we haven't we're done. Charger mat, intermediary SU, MFE, this one. And uh, we made one of these last time. Uh, an energy crystal so I'll make a few more of these and a basic machine frame and that'll get give us one of these which will then allow the charging rate to increase a lot because uh, it is too slow now as you can see it's taking a long time I'm going to go without it with it charged up anyway I don't need the quest book no quests have been completed since last time but there is one thing I didn't tell you about and that was here so you right click this and it puts down a torch for you. So the Omni tool just by right clicking, oops, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't wash too many things away because I haven't got much around here. Let's put that back there. Yeah, and the fence protected the crops. As it happens, I re replanted all the crops here and they've got one of every different type of the um, crop toasted ones. And a few down this row here, I've got a few others. Uh, and this was the Teco Craft corn block. So I'm going to take this. We're ready or we'll go without it being a completely charged up. It's 67%. I'll have to do. And I can put it in my backpack. So now we just need to go off and find out what. Oops. That's a good start. <laughs> I think it's just where this way. Have a look. Map. Oh, no. So I've got to go that way over here so I'll see you in a few seconds when I've got there right it's just coming into sight here there's all sorts of things on these you get blocks of gold and it's also got all this nether rack around it as well interesting and a block of lava here and we have a chest and in the chest we had some flints and steel so I didn't need to make one which is great and we get another block of obsidian. I was picking up some eggs on my way. Things that got damaged or broken. So let's see if I can actually do this. Uh, da, 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 da. So I think, what can we use for this? We'll use cobblestone, of course. And there's more obsidian down here. So we probably don't need to do any. So let's just break this. It doesn't take very long with this tool, by the way. Do you want the nether rack? Well, I suppose it, yeah, I'll take the nether rack with us. Handy to have as it happens. <clears throat> we'll see, you'll see why. So I think we just need a stone block on the top of this one. I can climb. Oh, cobblestone will do just fine. If I, if I can get up high enough, I can't jump up high enough. Have I got anything going wrong? I know these are a bit on the low side. Carbohydrates is a bit on the low side. And I do tend to get negative effects. So I'll just do it. Ooh. I'll do it this way. Now I should be able to, I think this is the right height, I should be able to get up on here and put the block on top. <laughs> yes we can, good. So we need another piece of obsidian over here. I think it needs to be three high if I remember correctly. Let's go, I don't need the quest book. Let's, in fact, let's put the quest book away. I'll put them into here. So we don't need the backpack, definitely we don't want to blow up. <clears throat> Eggs, I'll probably find it eggs in the, in the nether anyway, so that'll do, I think. 
So now we need to put this one on top of it. I should be able to do that, yeah. Good. And then we can put two across here, like that, and then that's built. We can take these two away, we don't need those anymore. And then we should be able to just light it. So let's take one of those flint and steels out of here. Light it. Right, here we go. Well, that looks like an interesting biome, doesn't it? I've come out onto viable warp blocks, and underneath there, there's lava I saw. So maybe the first thing to do is to put down some. Um, <laughs> well, what if we can break these? Currently, with a hoe. Okay, let's just try it with the standard tools here. Oh, yes, we can. Good. What's the biome? Luminous Grove. Okay. So all I'm going to do is put down some stone here just to make sure that we have a some safety. I should also close this up um, and in it. I don't want to go back out into here just yet. But I don't like the look of this as usual. <clears throat> Too much in the way of lava. <laughs> but we'll just set we'll just basically do what we've got over there. Interesting biome already I can tell. So let's jump up here I think we can jump up here and then carry on a bit more and we'll just put one row I don't really need to put a row of stone across the top of this but we will do for the sake of for the sake of safety and then we'll just build it out I'll tell you what I'll be back in a minute when I built this out I'll see you in a second well I bought a, <laughs> built a little bit around here not too much so what we're going to do next is we're going to take these here and we're going to fill up this big torch just for the sake of it. Uh, we don't need too many mobs around here, do we? So let's just put the big torch down here like this. I did have two stacks of um, cobblestone with me, which was, which was good as it happens. So I need 18 blocks of logs. Let's fill up. Like that. And I need to convert those into sticks so we get 64 and 10 so we sticks I wanted didn't I so let's just take half of those and make one stack this will give me four stacks of stuff have I got enough space I'm not sure I've got quite enough space actually let's just sort that yes I've got enough space I'll have a 16 that's the problem so four stacks we can fill this up to start with. I must already have some torches from earlier on. Probably should have put those away. <laughs> Just to demonstrate what I'm trying to demonstrate. It's 42 log planks. Okay, 64 of these and that will make another four stacks. Good. Move those out of the way, and then we just need one more snack. So that'll be the where are they gone to? 16. I should have to, got four extra sticks from somewhere. There we go. So now we have our big torch filled up. I've got access over here, so we'll just have a wander around. This looks like something we're wanting anyway at the beginning. What I'll do is I'll just build across, I think, probably the easiest way to start with. How much cobblestone have I got? 15. It's not actually probably not enough. <laughs> so let's just see what we can do from this. Of course, there's plenty of lava around here. But we shouldn't have too much difficulty. It's probably easier to go backwards. That, and this is nether quartz, isn't it? What have we got here? Quartz? Oh, sand. I don't know what. I've never seen this before. I'm not even sure if it breaks. Well, it does. It just treats like sand, but it doesn't fall down. So, what did I get here? 
Another quartz, great. That's actually what I'm after. Another quartz, and we got down the bottom, it looks like uh, rotting flesh. Let's go down a bit if I can. I'm not sure how good this is against things like. Um, oh, yeah, that'll do fine. Gas, that was what I was, trying, what I was trying to think of. <laughs> Having a bit of difficulty thinking about gas. But I've never seen another course quite like this. Is it? Yeah, okay, it's, beware. it's a different mod. Can't reach it. I'm being a little bit cautious. I don't need to be quite so cautious as I am because I could have got the jetpack. So we could turn it on. Let's just turn it on. Um, strange noises. I can't I get up on there? Oh, jetpack's on. Let's just turn it off again because it's making it difficult. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down a waystone here before I forget to do that any longer. Well, this should be safe enough, so if we let's put down the waste turn around here. Let's get it, it's in the backpack, so let's get it out of the backpack. And then we can right click this, and, we'll, and it gives you a name. So we'll, we'll say this one's Nether. Just right click it, of course. And then press Escape. I don't think there's anything else to press. And then it should tell you its, its name is Nether. It's another. It should be down here somewhere. There we are. There. So you can click on that and you'll teleport there. So we'll also take this scroll we've got with us. Um, I think that's also in the backpack, isn't it? Or did I put that in this chest here? And to put put it in this chest here. Okay, good. And then you can right click this like that, and then this becomes a destination. And all you have to do is then is right click that, and you should be able to just go, and come back straight here. But we need one XP for that. And by the time I finish it, I'm bound to have some XP. One trick I didn't show you is you can right-click lava with um, uh, empty tubes and you get lava cells. That's quite handy. We'll find that later on when we start to go mining. I want to go down to level 36 or something like that. So before we go too much further, let's just put down one of these shulker boxes here like this and fill it up with some of this junk I've been collecting. Other acts. I'll keep those with me. I don't want the nether. I've got some gold nuggets. Oh, it's probably from the dark oak logs. I think we probably don't need those for the time being. Quartz sand. We'll, see, we'll dump that in there as well. I think that's probably what we got. We've got enough food for now. Let's have a look. I'll try doing it the other way, opening it up. Ah. So I've got five um, in here. They don't five tacos you see this thing's a bit on the aggressive side so let's now put the jetpack on and go flying now I've got to be careful when I fly so just go like this you go fairly fast but you also drop down fairly hard so what do we have here those look like those glowstone blocks I know shroom shroom lights let's just Oh, does, that, does this have any use? Let's have a quick look. We can make some glowing uh, obsidian, and the uses of glowing obsidian is uh, we can cut it up. We can use it as a facade and cutting machines. Okay, and the uses of this one here from blockers, I suspect, is just a block. It is, so it's not really much use. So we won't fill up our inventory with that if we don't need it. some glowstone over there but what I would like to do is to go and get some uh, try and find a fortress or something like this there's something over here that looks interesting I'm, I'm trying not to die as well <laughs> I'm just seeing if we can get there easily just make sure the jetpack doesn't run out of power as well that's that wouldn't be so handy let's just turn it off for the time being and then we should be able to get through this quite easily I think I've got my let's have a look okay I think I've got the advanced jackhammer with me charged up as well now the advanced jackhammer is supposed to be good for stuff that's stone related and it has modes 
So at the moment, it's inactive. And when you shift right click it, I think it becomes active. And then when you use this, it then does a three by three. But obviously through the three by three, it's going to use up a lot more um, power. And we'll just do normal mode. It's going to just take time. I also have to be careful with lava because there's good chances of finding blocks of lava. I'm not sure in this biome there's it's that bad. So as you can see, this is quite a handy tool for that. But of course, I should have made a dank. What I'm doing is I'm staying back at maximum reach. Anyway, this is probably a bit boring for you, so I'll cut have a cut here and I'll come and stop when I get to something interesting. Well, I haven't moved very much. <laughs> it's actually quite interesting. This is sulfur quartz. And as you can see, it's got it's basically quartz. If you look at the uses of this, it, you can use it in all the, the rest, same recipes. You can use standard quartz, I guess. I'm not sure if you can grind it. Let's see, grinder, and that'll give us quartz dust. Yes, it will. So this is actually quite nice. And this is also what we've got here, rose quartz. There was a stack of rose quartz here. Let's just dig this up. It doesn't really matter if we get a lot of netherrack either, because we're going to need netherrack. It's one of the recipes for Tech Reborn, isn't it? No, can't do that. Let's go up with a few blocks. Have I got some blocks? Yes, of course, I've got netherrack these days. <laughs> I don't need that with me there. Let's just put it down. There's another one up here that's also interesting. That's why I'm, that's why I'm going up here. This one. What's that one? I didn't see it. Oop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Doesn't help. Let's just go up and get some blocks. We're going to have no shortage of netherrack anyway. So let's just carry on with that. So what's this one? Smoky quartz. Oh, okay. And that's smoky quartz. I guess this is exactly the same, just a different colour. It looks like it, doesn't it? So anyway, I carry on. There's something else in here that's also interesting. These. What did I get from that? I think I've just got some more quartz, or as it happens. I'm not quite sure what these particles are. Anyway, I shall carry on and I'll see you in a while. Well, that didn't take very long, <laughs> I'll be honest. Oh, ooh. And sure enough, we found a few um, blazes. I'm not sure how good my weapons are. There's one just around the corner here, I saw him. Oh, of course, there's a... <clears throat> Let's just open this chest up here. Oops, didn't want to do that. I haven't got no water with me. <laughs> right, well, it, it will help with one thing. This will soon get filled up. So we've got some reasonable good stuff in there. Let's just, sorry, let's just put some stuff away. Because my stuff is already, oh, I've got two blaze rods from that one little encounter. It's not too bad. I've got some bright stones, no uses whatsoever. As far as I can see, uh, we will keep this another court, another rack with us. In fact, let's put this away up here and put this beside that. It's probably more useful. Okay, this is full. Gosh, we could have had a fight then, couldn't I? So these guys are over here. So if we put down some netherrack around about here, we should, might get a little bit of protection. What I really want to do, of course, is find some nether wart. Some nether wart, then we can actually do something stuff. Uh, golden enchanted coal saddles ingots. I'm going to leave those for the time being. Or well, she'll go down this way. Oh, it'll make me keep here. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. <laughs> Shouldn't be too much problem. Like an itty, that is. Oh, no.
you'll notice I've actually not bothering too much about um, where I'm going to. Hopefully this will work. I've got plenty of XP at the moment. so and This is usually a good area to find another wart. Oh. I did get with it. <laughs> did I get anything from him? No. Let's take some leather wart with us. Oh, we need some soul sand too for that matter. Let's just take the whole lot up. Have a look. I got three bones from him. That's actually quite a lot of stuff, isn't it? So that's it. That's all I wanted to do for today. So, oh, there's another chest over there. Uh, nope. I've got this. I've got everybody marked on here. So let's have a look at this chest. Oh, wow. Not bad. I'm going to take these. Transmutation formula. We've got that already. Electro ingots. We've got no space for. Uh, let's just put some stuff down. I think I'll put it into my backpack. Don't need that with us, I don't think. Probably don't need the biome locator. We do need that. Nether bricks. We'll keep the soul sand in here and that. I think we'll take the rest of this, no problem. Might as well take the chest for that one. But then we know it's been cleaned out. So all I need to do, if I've got this right, and I hope I have now, is I need to right click this here. We'll actually make a mark of a fortress. I think we'll make a mark of the fortress. Oh, what happened? <laughs> Didn't take me back to the waste zone. It just cleared the empty scroll. I thought I'd have to do oh, maybe it. Was, okay. Right, I've got to get back again. See you in a while. Well, that's it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's quite scary going to the nether for the first time. Um, but we did survive that, which is good. <laughs> Surprisingly, as it happens. Uh, but I have got another one. So now we can actually start to do at least a broom. In fact, let's have a look. I'm not exactly sure how many. Oh, not that one. Let's put it into my backpack. I got two blaze rods at least in here. I'm not sure if I got any in this one. No, I didn't. You just press shift, by the way, and you can see what's in the in the in the different things in the blue one. Oh, I've got two more. So I did get four um, blaze rods anyway, even if I wasn't getting them from the um, recycler. So that's it. So we can definitely go and brew some fireproof potions, which is really what you need for the nether anyway. So until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now. <laughs>